Kane's Wrath is the expansion to Command & Conquer 3 Tiberium Wars, which was basically an old-fashioned RTS game from the 90s dressed up with the latest 3D graphics and HD video cutscenes. Not surprisingly, Kane's Wrath offers up more of the same. This is an expansion that adds a 13-mission single-player campaign, a cool new dynamic global conquest, six new sub-factions, and plenty of scenery-chewing performances. The single-player campaign is the heart of the expansion, as it explores much of the Command & Conquer universe's timeline. You play as Legion, a sentient AI created by Kane, the leader of the evil Brotherhood of Nod. As always, Kane is played by Joe Kukin, and this time around he's joined by aliases Carl Lumley and Species Natasha Henstridge. Here's the thing about the missions in Kane's Wrath. If you've played a ton of real-time strategy games before, then you're probably going to experience deja vu. The gameplay is very old school in that the missions feel like they could have been taken from the original Command & Conquer from 1995. Most involve you building a base, turtling up, and building a huge army to wipe your enemies off the map. Then every now and then you get one of those adventure-style missions where you have to go guide a small group of units from one side of the map to the other. The story itself isn't as cohesive as it could be since it dances all over the CNC timeline, so you don't really get much of a narrative. The cool new thing in Kane's Wrath is a global conquest mode, which lets you try and take over the world as a GDI, Skrin, or Nod. You can do so by crushing each enemy base, but there are alternate victory conditions that will make you pay attention, like the GDI getting a huge amount of territory under its control. The multiplayer gameplay remains incredibly fast-paced and brutal, and fans of the series will undoubtedly have fun tank-rushing one another, though the action can be a bit daunting if you're a rookie. In this game, you can get wiped out in the opening minutes if you don't know what you're doing. At the end of the day, Kane's Wrath will appeal to serious CNC 3 fans, as well as die-hard RTS fans. The lack of growth or evolution in the series is something of a concern though, especially as other games have pushed and advanced the genre in exciting new directions.